Today, I am going to show you how to make up to $600,000 per day with this new Bloxburg berry bush farm. The full version of the farm will cost $507,000 to build. It's okay if you don't have that much money because you can still build a smaller version of the farm with what you have. The whole thing takes around 50 minutes to harvest and you will get a little over $73,000 each harvest. It then takes 2 hours and 16 minutes to regrow. If you run the farm for 12 hours, you can harvest it 4 times and 4 harvests equals about $300,000. But for those of you who do not sleep, if you run it for a full 24 hours, you will make about $600,000. If you also decide to work while the berries grow, you can very easily make over $1 million. If you have decided that you want to build the farm, then make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss anything important. First, make sure that there are no plants on your plot. This will reduce your profits. Go to decorate and buy a large ordinary planter. Then find the berry bush and place it in the top corner of the planter box. Make sure you are using the medium grid size and your collisions are turned off. On the longer side of the planter box, place 9 bushes in a row. For the last bush, angle your camera towards the side of the planter box and click about halfway up the wood. The ninth bush should look just like the rest of the bushes. Now copy this row 6 more times for a total of 7 rows. On the last row, you will have to put your cursor on the wood to place the bushes correctly. If you want to make harvesting easier, you can paint the bushes however you like. I chose to do stripes. Once you are finished, you should have a 9x7 group of berry bushes. Switch to the large grid size and put your planter box in the corner of your plot with the short side facing away from the sidewalk. Just like this. Now it's time for the expensive part. Cloning the farm. Click on the planter box with the clone tool. Every bush should turn orange with it. Now place the planter box on the 2x2 two two grid next to the original one. There should be a little gap that looks just like this. Keep placing the planter boxes until you have a total of 18 groups. When you finish, get out of build mode and go to the main menu to reload your plot. When you start loading, you will get this pop-up. Click yes. Now when you look at your farm, you should have a couple missing bushes at the end. This means that you are now at the maximum plant limit for your plot. You can test this by trying to place another bush on your plot. You should get this error. Now let's talk about sprinklers. If you cannot afford multiple sprinklers, I will give you an easy solution in a minute. With the large grid size selected, place your sprinkler on the side of the planter box. This sprinkler will water both of the planter boxes beside it. Skip one gap and place another sprinkler in between the next two planter boxes. At the end, you should have used a total of nine sprinklers. Now let's talk about the solution. If you can't afford nine sprinklers, only buy one and use this trick every hour or two. Place the sprinkler on the edge of the planter box using the large grid size. Wait a second for the plants to water and then move it to the next planter box. Repeat this until you have watered every group. If you want to, you can water plants without sprinklers, but it is extremely time consuming and it's probably not worth it. Once you have finished that, the farm is complete. Let's go over harvesting. If you haven't already noticed, this farm is very laggy. From what I have learned while testing, the best way to harvest is to look down and zoom in just enough so that you can see through yourself. This gets rid of almost all the lag and can help you harvest a lot faster. And that is how to build a berry bush farm. If you like the farm, make sure to subscribe. I also want to mention that I really appreciate all of the support on my previous video. I have been working towards my goal of 30,000 subscribers for over a year and because of you guys we were able to reach that goal in one day. But thank you for watching, I hope this video helped you in some way and I will see you all for another video next weekend.